Okay, pre-takeoff check looks good. Everything's in the green. Here we go. follow the Hanalei Valley back into the center of the island. This is where we get to visit the volcano that formed Kauai. It's called Waiale Ale. Now Kauai is the uh, fourth largest Hawaiian island. We're 533 square miles. That puts us 25 miles north to south, about 33 east to west. Give you a little size comparison. The big island of Hawaii, which is the largest island, sits over there at over 4,000 square miles. Right now is Wai Ali Ali. This is the volcano that formed Kauai about six million years ago. And it's the highest point, just shy of a mile high, 5,243 feet. Stink volcano. That means it's totally dead. It'll never ever go off again. And Wai Ali Ali means rippling waters. We're going to jump over into the Hanapepe Valley here and we'll go check out some Hollywood waterfalls. Uh, the top group here will be called the Kihili Falls. There's about six of them in this little bowl. Now they all join together, they're going to flow down, spill over a cliff coming up left side again first. Now it's called the Manawaioa Puna Falls. This is the waterfall that showed up in the opening scenes of the movie Jurassic Park. A little rainbow going through it there. From Kauai is the forbidden island of Nihihau. You can see that sitting out there in front of us on the horizon. That's 17 miles off our west coast. That's the island that's home to nothing but pure blood Hawaiians today. Uh, privately owned by the Robinson family. They were one of the early sugarcane growing families. Uh, they bought that from King Kamehameha back in 1875 for $10,000. Today's dollars, that'd be around $208,000. Left front along the coast, is the uh, historic town of Waimea. That's where Captain Cook landed back in 1778 when he first came across the Hawaiian Islands. Now, you see how brown it is over here. This is the leeward of the dry side. That's where they're lucky if they get about five inches of rain every year. Now, the Robinson family, they have a, a mountain home coming up here right front. This little dirt road passing there in front of us is how they access it. Now, I've been over 20 years here in Kauai. I've never, ever seen anybody up here, but there's always a first time. You never know. It's called Makaweli, because it looks down the Makaweli Valley. Going to have wildlife falls coming up here on the right. Now this is all part of the Waimea Canyon. This was uh, coined the Grand Canyon of the Pacific. This thing stretches 25 miles in total length. Deepest point's about 3,500 feet. Now eventually a lot of the red uh, we see finds its way washed out into the ocean. This is how Waimea originally got its name. means red water. And again the red is just the high iron oxide content. That's Koke State Park up here in front of us. That's our high country. You can drive up here. Just follow the west edge of the canyon. And they have a restaurant and a museum up there. Got cabins for rent, excellent hiking trails. Really pretty up here. Got a missile tracking station out there in front of us. Sets out at the end of Makaha Ridge. Now this is the Nepali coastline. This is uh, the 27-mile 
Isolated stretch running up here on the northwest corner of the island. No roads going through here at all. And the Polly in English means the cliffs. This is probably one of the most beautiful displays of erosion that we can find anywhere in the world. first valley that we'll descend into is called Nua Lolo Aina. Now the first beach coming up here will have this natural archway going through the center of it. This is Hanapu. That's the uh, most recent movie they filmed here was Pirates of the Caribbean 4. Uh, beach right next to it up there is Kalalau. That's the one that we can hike into. It's the end of the 11 mile Kalalau Trail. Now I'm going to bring all this to the left side here in just a sec. Then we'll take a run up into the Hanapu Valley. Now, if you do make it to the end of the Waimea Canyon Drive, this would be the valley that you're looking out over. It's the largest one along the coast. This is Kalalau. We can see the Kalalau Trail cutting its way right in along the edge of the cliffs there. The trail works itself up and down the cliff lines. There's a hiker heading in on it right through the trees there. Goes in and out of the valleys for 11 miles of trail length. And all the valleys on the coastline were inhabited with Hawaiians at one point. This trail was a pathway in all their homes. And they were still living pretty much full time on the coast right up until about, <coughs> excuse me, the mid-1920s. Coming around the corner now, we'll be looking eastbound back down the North Shore. Little village of Hyena coming up here along the coast. Now, a real popular beach on this side of the island is that long stretch here off this end of the village. It's called Tunnels. The easiest way to get there, just go to the grassy area there in the corner where all the cars are parked. That's the Hyena State Beach Park. Probably one of the prettiest, uh, more photographed beaches in the entire state right front is Lumahai Beach. And that was called Nurse's Beach in the movie South Pacific. That's where Mitzi Gaynor sang. She was going to wash that man right out of her hair. Hanalei Bay's up front. A little town of Hanalei wraps around the inside. Then across the bay, that's all the Princeville Resort community. That puts us uh, into the back into the Hanalei Valley where we started out. Okay, we're going to be on the ground here in just a sec. I want to say mahalo to everybody for flying uh, to this afternoon. Hope everybody.